Welcome back to the channel, fellas. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing our new reel for next month's reel review. So I sent out a poll and had you guys decide between Shimano, Daiwa, and Luz. And um, Shimano won by a long shot, which is great news to me because I have always loved Shimano and I had the perfect reel that I wanted to try just in case Shimano won. That's gonna be the SLX XT. So I have always loved the SLX line from Shimano. I've used pretty much all of them. I used the normal SLX HG um, when it first came out and then I've also spent a lot of time using the SLX DC. Both excellent reels. I honestly prefer the SLX DC over the Corrado DC and it's a, it's a bit cheaper and I, in my opinion it performs better. So. I was very excited to try out the SLX XT. It's the only one out of the SLX that I haven't tried. And uh, let's just go ahead and run over the specs before we get into the unboxing. We've got a 7.2 to one gear ratio. It's got 11 pounds of drag. It's weighing in at 7.2 ounces, 205 grams. Um, has four ball bearings plus one, like the extra ball bearing for the crank. And then um, 28 inches of retrieve per revolution, like as you crank in the reel. So. The main difference between this and the SLX is going to be, um, so the SLX XT versus the normal SLX is going to be a $40 price difference with tax. It's like $30 without, and uh, the braking system. So I was a little bit confused myself when I got a hold of it. I didn't really know, but after doing a little bit of research, this bad boy has a, it's called a SVS. Let's try and get that in focus there. The SVS, come on, man. Focus a little bit better. Okay, well, you guys can kind of see it. Um, braking system. So basically, I'll show you guys in a second, but I just want to show off this reel real quick, dude. Look at that thing. It's got that nice finish on it. I'm not a big fan of the blue. I would prefer it to be red, but you know, it still looks really nice. It's got the chrome over here. Oof, this thing looks like a beauty. But um, anyways, the main difference between the SLX, for those of you guys who have used it, is it has this SVS braking system right here. So you can kind of, it has the centrifugal brakes inside, but it also has this brake right here that you can slowly back down and kind of like back those centrifugal brakes off of the spool itself. So um, from what I understand, I haven't got to use this myself yet, so I can't speak from experience, but from what I've looked at, um, Basically, this allows you to kind of really fine tune the centrifugal brake. Like if you're casting and you're having issues with backlash or whatever and, and the, the spool messing up on you, you, your only option with the old SLX was to just add another brake on, which can kind of mess up your distance. Whereas with this, if you've got some of the centrifugal brakes on, if you're just having a little bit of an issue, you can kind of back it off. You've got the six settings over here on this side to, um, allow yourself to uh, like fine tune the, the casting if that makes sense without um, having a huge disparity in your casting distance. So I'm very, very excited to get out there and use this bad boy man again. Let's just take a look at that. It's very low profile. Like uh, I wanna get it on a rod real quick. So give me a second. All right, so we got her on our home for the next month. It's gonna be the Arius Ultralight Action a uh, seven foot rod from Old 18. Very nice rod, I love these things. It's great for a kayak and doing the inshore stuff that I like to do. It's been tough here lately, but I'm gonna be excited to get back out there because of this. I'm very excited to use this thing, man. And like I was expecting, it is super low profile. Look at that. I just, when, when you're out there all day casting and doing tons of casts, how the reel and rod feels in your hand is very important to me. And this is just super comfy. It's not like a big old bulky one where you're like, straining i don't know i'm sure some of you guys understand maybe you don't but man oh man i'm excited to use this bad boy dude look at this such a freaking beauty gosh i want y'all to be able to see that break is that that's that's about as good as the the focus is gonna get all right boys so that's all i've got for this video just wanted to go over the reel really quickly unbox it and show you guys what we're gonna be using for the next month um we're gonna go ahead and spool her up with 10 pound test power pro braid that's my favorite line to use for those of you guys who are wondering and uh, be expecting to see us using this in our next video. Like I said, I'm very excited. I really wanna get out there and use it. And also, if you're watching this, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update if you're uh, subscribed to the channel and you're following. Ah, I'm very, very, very upset, man. Um, as you know, I said in the last video that we were gonna be uploading offshore action. Bro, tell me why GoPro stays making just giving me huge L's. So had an amazing day out there. It's literally my first time going offshore. I've been wanting to do this forever. I was so excited. 
caught a bunch of snapper. I caught a vermilion snapper, red snapper. Everyone was getting on fish. We had fish getting bit in half by barracudas at the boat. It was just action packed. It was a great time. I get home and my footage is corrupted. None of the footage is available to be shown to you guys. So I can't make a video. Honestly, arguably one of the best trips I've had this whole year of 2021. Like I would literally say my best trip, no video. So very upset about that, but that's not all lost. There's gonna be my dad's video. I edited that up and it looks awesome. It looks like it is a great video. So I'll put the link to my dad's channel down below as well as links to this reel and uh, the rest of my stuff. And you guys can go check that out, but make sure you check that video out, dude. It was such a good time, honestly. So that's gonna do it for this one though. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smack the like button and make sure you smack the subscribe button, man. We're gonna be giving this reel away on the end of August, the beginning of September, and we're gonna be picking up a new reel. That's my new thing. I'm gonna do reel reviews. It's just something to make fishing exciting for me. I like using new stuff, having new toys, and uh, also to give back to you guys. So subscribe, that's all you have to do. Subscribe and comment on the giveaway video to win this reel right here. Hope you guys have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.